First time I ever saw the freshman in person was at the Crescendo on Sunset Strip. Billie Holiday was their opening act, and at the time I thought, who is this lady singing here and taking up some time? Older black lady with a gravelly voice. I didn't know, I was in my teens back then. Finally, she got off. Of course, I'd love to have seen her come on now that I know about her. And the four freshmen came on and this was their opening number. And Ken Irrer was this gentleman right here. He had a futuristic look on his face. He sort of fit the sound of the group. And I identified their sound with his face at the time. I was so fortunate accidentally to meet Canterare, and I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But this group to me just had a magical sound, kind of a ethereal sound, like something from up in the clouds somewhere. They were just super. I'm Jerry Jansen. I do sing here on YouTube, and I've been a freshman fan all my life. A buddy of mine named Barry Richards, Barry Glass, had a father who was a building contractor. And later, Ken Irrer of the four freshmen, he had left the group at this time, joined up with Mel Glass for real estate sales. And uh, I went over to Barry's house one day, and there was Ken Irrer sitting in the living room. I didn't expect to see him, you know, I didn't think I'd ever meet him. We sat and talked, and I complimented the heck out of him during his period with the freshman. He left the group in the, oh, I don't know, in 1956, and this was in the middle 60s when we're all sitting together. Now, uh, Kenny Rare happened to be on It Happened Once Before, uh, Mood Indigo, Graduation Day. He was a big part of the freshman's early hits, and he couldn't have been a nicer guy. And he had that kind of swept back look in his eyes, sort of a Jack Palance, who else, Warren Stevens hairline. And he uh, dressed the group up really nice for album covers, but his voice was great, he had a jazz sound, played nice trumpet and bass, and uh, here I am sitting with him and my friend Barry. And I didn't think we'd have the nerve, but I said, or he said, Barry said, Let's try to sing a three-part version of It's a Blue World. He didn't seem to mind, and we did it. I think I sang third voice, Barry sang top, and Ken sang his original bass note. We were missing the second voice. But that's really something to get Ken Herrera singing with us in the mid-60s or so. Now, unfortunately, it's the real estate business that took his life because often Mel Glass and Mr. Herrera, Ken Herrera, would fly over the properties, you know, in a small private plane. And that's just what uh, happened. The plane came down. This was in 1969. And we were invited to the funeral by the family of Mel Glass. Of course, Barry was naturally invited. Uh, and it was quite a sad thing to be in a cemetery, chapel, seeing the casket and his trumpet and hearing his voice singing uh, The Nearness of You. And to look around in the audience, there were the current four freshmen with Ken Albert sitting there. And it was an unusual day for me, kind of like everything I'd ever liked poured into one thing. So uh, Ken Herrera was a big part of the freshman's start. Previous to Ken Herrera was Hal Cratch, nice looking guy, same as Ken, trumpet and bass. Those guys got the group rolling and then Ken Albers came along and stayed for many years. I don't want to leave out the names Ross Barber and uh, Bob Flanagan, they were the heart of the group. Bob Flanagan's high voice is what really made the sound. Anyway, I enjoyed experiencing the fact with you that I saw Kenny Rare in person and met him. It was a memory I shelved away and it just came back to me two nights ago watching the Alfred Hitchcock show and uh, Warren Stevens came on and I thought, gosh, he reminds me of Kenny Rare. Then the whole Kenny Rare thing came back and I'm 
I'm dumping it on you now. No, I enjoyed thinking back to those days. Ken left the group in 56. He married actress Jane Withers and uh, did an album on Capitol singing solo and playing. It's called Solo Session. But Ken Irer will be missed and has been missed for many years already. He passed at 69 at the age of 39. Goodbye, Ken Irer.